Hello, I'm Ace of Clubs Kid, and today I'm going to be doing a mock unboxing and review of the Phantasma Magic Multiplying Soap Bubbles. So, uh, here it is, here's the box. Um, what I mean by mock unboxing is that all the stuff I've already um, taken out and played with, and I've, I've used everything, uh, and viewed everything before, but I just thought I'd give you kind of a mock first impressions, you know, things that I thought at first, and, um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Um, so yeah. Uh, starting off, we do get, uh, the four, we do get four solid soap bubbles, or soap bubbles, uh, and the one gimmick, the shell, uh, to allow you to do this trick. Um, it's, it also includes a trick, a bonus trick, um, with, with this one right here, uh, the appearing soap bubble where you can blow bubbles and then you can reach into the air and make one solid and then you can go right into uh, make it one to two and then two to three and then three into four. Um, so yeah, let's open this right up. Right off the bat we have a nice case here. Um, you know, nice blue kind of aluminum, some nylon in it. And there are two zippers. Nice, because if one breaks, then you're not, you know, you stuck peeling it open or something. So let's pop this right open. Right off the bat, we got a uh, Phantasma Magic Instruction Manual. Um, it spends one page describing the appearing soap bubble. Um, another one describing a vanish for it. Uh, and then about one page, or about technically two, describing the actual multiplying soap bubbles. What are the other pages, you might ask? They're bonus tricks. Bad bonus tricks, I might add. Um, all of these I already knew. This one, oof, notes, really? Really? That's another word for lazy. You know, they didn't, they thought, oh, it's too thin, better include some notes. So, yeah. Next up, we have a DVD. Uh, this DVD, wow, I just realized this, you can see right through it. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera. You can see right through that DVD. Anyways, that's random. But, um, I watched this, and I believe Dan Harlan's one of the guys, and I can't remember the, the other guy uh, who, who explained it. The, the explanations are decent at best, but they're performed and explained in front of two girls. Um, who who are just watching this entire time, and it seems almost like it's more of a reveal video, like this is how the trick works, more than uh, an explanation. You know, teaching you how how to do it, not just showing you how it's done, but actually teaching you how to do it so you can do it properly as well as they perform. Um, Dan Harlan does a, a pretty good job. He shows you things like finger position, but this is just for the appearing bubble, which probably could be figured out if you just fiddled around with the props a little. Um, moving on, let's just see here. Uh, as you can see, there are some extra slots for um, your other DVDs if you want to put them in here. They are double-sided, so you can put two here if you really want to put all your Magic CDs in here for whatever reason, instead of having them of those wonderful uh, plastic cases. Right off the bat, here's the um, solid soap bubbles. Here is a bonus trick. Let's pop this right open here. Looks like in the bottom we have a uh, little, or we have our shell for this. You can see, relatively nicely made. Seems to be one of the nicer parts of the whole set. Um, this is the gimmick bottle, which allows you to produce the, uh, soap bubble. And, as you can see here, um, it does come empty. So you're going to have to either fill it up with some other solution. This doesn't even, this doesn't even close completely flush. Look at this. That's some bad design. It literally has Made in China written all over it. Yeah. Not some great first impressions. Shell's nice. Let's see if we can get these other soap bubbles out of here. Jeez, I really don't want to get these. There we go. Ah, dang it. Come on. Come on. 
Screw it. Just go from the bottom. That's annoying. Actually, I have to push them up from the bottom to get them. Alright, so here's our soap bubbles. You can see we do get four solid soap bubbles as well as the shell. There we go. Okay, so those are the those are them. Right. One of the things you'll notice right off the bat is they have this well-defined line, um, which is very obvious close up. Um, this is annoying, I'll admit, and I would have liked it not to be there. Uh, but from about six feet away, I'm looking at my mirror right now. It's pretty hard to see. Not that big of a deal, and especially since this is a stage trick, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, the, these, um, grip-wise, they do not stick to your fingers too well, um, not very grippy, not too easy to do manipulations with, as you can see here. I'm not too pro with them, but, uh, as you can see, these don't really help for practice. Yeah, these are only about an inch big, which is fine, seeing as this is Phantasma's tricks are mainly targeted towards a younger audience um, and you can see these fit my hands pretty well um, could be just a bit bigger but not by much so that's that and um, overall I would I would say I got this for ten bucks um, from Amazon I got for shipping it was, it was uh, twelve but um, pretty good trick uh, quality could have been better. The it's a nice case you get. The DVD pretty much sucks. Uh, there's some random bonus tricks on there as well. Not sure at all what the meaning of that is. There's like five random tricks that I already knew, like the paddle move. Um, there's a card force, which is you know everyone knows the card force. Uh, the crisscross. Um, there's a basic coin vanish where you rub a coin into your elbow and it disappears. Um, really nothing too exciting. There's also a performance of someone doing this, but the video quality is horrible. Um, granted it was made quite a long, a long time ago. Um, I forgot the gentleman's name who is performing, but, um, yeah. Overall, it's a decent set for, uh, for the price, but I think if you're looking for a set that can be manipulated more easily, or um, seen maybe a bit better from stage, then you might want to look into the Vernet multiplying balls, uh, multiplying colored balls, and those are about 20 bucks. These retail for about 20. I've seen them for even 25. So that's my thoughts. Uh, you can also check out the Empire multiplying golf balls. I've heard those are fantastic, and the shell is um, very well made, so that you can hardly even see it on the on the ball. So. Those are my thoughts. Uh, overall, uh, in terms of what I recommend buying it, I think it's personal preference. If you want to really blow soap bubbles, make one solid, and then multiply it into four, if you want to do that, really do something kind of organic, more organic than just using, um, when the audience mind, just, just a random ball, then I think this is a good trick for you. Uh, but if you're... If you're um, looking for something you can you can manipulate and do a lot with and this is not for you um, seeing as the shell is clear there's not a whole lot you can do with it and yeah so that's my thoughts thanks for watching and I'll see you later